TV rights. And two former stars of the 1984 Winter Olympics are still skating for the gold, this time payable in cash. Jane Torval once worked as a private secretary. Christopher Dean was a policeman. In 1984, the British duo won the gold medal for ice dancing with an unprecedented nine perfect scores at the Winter Olympics. As far as we're concerned, we couldn't reach anything higher in, in the amateur world. And to do what we wanted to do, we had to move over into the professional world. They've put together a cast of 16 world-class skaters and are now rehearsing for the American premiere of their professional world tour. When we were competing, we would most probably do um, four competitions a year. Now we're performing possibly six times a week. And so it is strenuous and it's hard work to keep that standard up. Um, but it's, again, it, it's that crossing that divide from the sports mentality to the entertaining mentality. Their six-week-long tour in the United States will start in Los Angeles on Friday and will continue on in 16 cities. guests are the British duo who skated away with the Olympic gold in 1984 ice dancing competition. Their names are Jane Torval and Christopher Dean, but their loving fans just call them T and D. What do they do on ice? What they do on ice is not so much athletics as just gracefully gliding ballet. And there you see it, and it defies description almost. Well, after winning contest after contest with perfect scores of six. Oh, they've ended their amateur standing and launched their own professional world tour. And last Friday, they began their American performances, and we are happy to have them joining us this morning. Welcome Jane Torval, who is right here, and Christopher Dean, who is right there. Good morning to both of you. I asked you earlier, how have American audiences treated you? Are they as great as the f fans back home? Well, they've been very, um, very vocal, and um, we've had great reception um, in the places we've played so far. Different reception than you get at home? Have you noticed that this is, after all, America and these people are different? Yes, it is different, and they're very warm and appreciative. You know, they, they clap at um, all the little points, and they're, they laugh in the right places, and at the end, they, they're terrific. They're really warm at the end and vocal. Now, we're used to having Olympic champions that are in ice skating competitions. They somehow always seem to go to the ice capades or different ice shows and become a part of that and mm -hmm. travel around the country. You decided not to do that and start your own thing. Why? Well, you wanted to um, be a part of a show that, um, that was the type of skating that we're used to, that we'd been doing as amateurs, and we wanted to continue that and, in fact, continue progressing, not to a, sort of a reach to plateau and stop at that. And so. Uh, we felt that the only way that we could do that was to form our own company and be in charge of it artistically and to do our own choreography or to work with other choreographers, whoever we wanted to work with. When Christopher says that you didn't want to reach a plateau, you want to keep progressing, everybody says you're perfect already. Where do you go <laughs> from here? Well, we still feel um, there's a lot of things we can do, and indeed we feel we've progressed already since turning professional. Um, we've, we've expanded and we have no restrictions or rules that we have to adhere to anymore. Now we're, we're looking at some of your... Uh, now we should not call this ice skating, right? We should call it ice dancing. Yes. Um, that's what we do, ice dancing, yes. How is that different? Why is this not ice skating? Forgive me. Well, it is ice skating, but that's the general term. What we do within, um, within the competition is termed ice dancing. But all of it can also be termed ice dancing oh. because that's what it should be, really. I mean, it's, it's um, dance on ice. But w how do you think you've progressed from what we just saw? Um, from our sort of attitude now in, in actually putting on a show constantly each night, that responsibility to start with, but also with working with other choreographers that we've been working with, it's sort of broadened our outlook in, in what we can do and the theatrics of actually putting on a show now. It, it's not just a, a sportive event under white light. It's, it's the whole mood and intimate feeling of, of putting on a show. Is it difficult, though? You've spent your whole lives gearing up for specific events where you get graded by judges. Now you have to go out and you work for the applause and That's you have right. to do it really every night as opposed to once every several months. Does that make it more difficult, easier? 
better? It's more of a responsibility to go out and ha because the people that are coming to see you are coming to see that performance that they saw on TV. So our responsibility is to try and reproduce that performance every night. And every night before you go out, you still get that nervous tension before you do when you went out in competition. Just that you can sort of sit back and relax a little bit more now, knowing that the whole year's work isn't going to be thrown away in four minutes. Something I've always wondered when I see people like yourself skate, are you as good as comfortable alone? Um, we fall down alone. Yeah, we <laughs> fall down alone. <laughs> you get used to being with a partner all the time, but that's something else that we've been able to do within the show is work a little with other skaters and um, separate too. But so you do it actually dance or skate with other men? Well, only for a short time. Most <laughs> of it is <laughs> Oh, what, what was that? <clears throat> but it's not as much fun, right? No. She knows not the right answers, doesn't she? She knows. How about you? Do you know the right answers? Yes, yes, the same. The same. <laughs> well, we thank you both for joining us this morning. I must say, it is a sight to behold. It always makes me want to be an ice skater, but <laughs> only in my dreams. Thank you. Uh, we're going to leave uh, you guys right here and take another look at some of your work. Thanks a lot.